I've always been enamored with, with the music from the southern states, the, some south of the Mason-Dixon line, from the Delta. America, it's, it's the blues, it's, it's bluegrass and gospel music in New Orleans and rock and roll. It's and, probably why Larry and, yeah, even married me. The only me. reason I married her was to give me some authenticity <laughs> to be able to play that stuff. Yeah. It's true, the musical marriage is still glue for us. People said to me, well, that's a pretty far stretch of you, like, growing up in the cotton patch, and here you are singing with all these psychedelic era, psychedelia, you know, stuff and I was like it's not really as far as you think because they were feeding off of the stuff that I was growing up singing in the living room at home. The people we've had the, the fortune to work with, you know, Levon and Yorma and Jack and Phil Lesh and you know the guys from Little Feet, they've all taken these great American traditions and thrown them into a pot and, and mixed them up and, and spit them out their way, you know. And that's what we're trying to do. of what moves people comes back to the person being totally invested. Vulnerability is what I think speaks to people because you're open and it's honest, it's true. It is a thread of struggle in these songs that hasn't been so much in the other songs I've written before, you know, it's a thread of you know, human issues that you're trying to, to reconcile. Things that have gotten me through bad times of my life are artist's expression of the emotions and the struggles that I'm going through. That has helped me get through. And, and if I can express that and that helps somebody else get through, then it's worth putting out there. You know?